here with Oklahoma State President uh, Burns Hargis for another webisode of Conversations with. President Hargis, thanks for spending a few minutes with us uh, to discuss the future of higher education in Oklahoma State University. Happy to do it. Uh, higher education seems to be at a crossroads now. We have students coming in with, uh, who are digital natives and uh, uh, embrace interaction with the digital community. Uh, the traditional classroom model is sort of having to be updated. What is OSU and, and doing to embrace uh, the uh, digital age and, and embrace these students? Well, we're very much aware of what you're, what you're saying. And in fact, some are saying that uh, they think possibly residential campuses will be obsolete. I don't believe that. Uh, because a lot of what you learn in college happens outside the classroom, maybe just as much as you learn inside the classroom. Uh, on top of that, the professors have to be somewhere, and they're, uh, they're here. And, but you do have to uh, be able to uh, leverage the digital platforms to improve the whole product, and we are definitely doing that. You know, we've always been a leader in distance education, so we've had that kind of activity for a long time. But there's a number of digital uh, initiatives that uh, we currently have uh, where students uh, can manage their courses. Uh, we have smart boards, we have uh, just lots of uh, uh, techniques and, uh, and, and systems which, uh, which aid the students. Uh, but we'll have far more interactivity I think, as we move forward in the digital age. So uh, it's, it's a wonderful medium. Uh, it, it brings so much material to the table, but if it's not organized, uh, it's not all that helpful. You know, in television, you have these a jillion stations, and yet uh, you probably watch about four of them. You know, so it's uh, just... Just because it, it can be uh, extremely broad doesn't mean it ought to be. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see a huge increase in, the, in how it's, uh, education is done in the next 10 years? Yeah, I really do. I, I, I think you're going to, we already have uh, a, a myriad of uh, online courses. I think we're at about 1,200 mm -hmm. online courses at OSU. Uh, we have 17,000 people enrolled, and it is accounting for about 50,000 credit hours. So we definitely have a strong online uh, presence. Uh, but I think uh, you're going to augment that with a lot more interactivity, both with the professor as well as your fellow students. So if you're having trouble in a course, you'll be able to just say, what do you all think about this? And all of a sudden you have this... Uh, this large uh, uh, volume of answers to help you get through it. Okay. The number of uh, students attending college is increasing about 7% annually. Oklahoma State has experienced record enrollment the last couple of years. What measures is, are, is OSU taking to ensure the students are housed and fed as well as you know, receiving the, uh, you know, the instruction they will need to find success in the workplace? Well, I think that uh, a little of the technology helps this as well. But before I get to that, I, I talk about the dorms. We, are, we have a number of initiatives with our dorms uh, where we have what we call living learning communities. Uh, so that if you're in uh, engineering or you're in agriculture or whatever uh, the discipline may be, you, you live in dorms uh, with people similarly situated. And... Uh, the dorms have to be updated to be digitally uh, prepared. Uh, the, uh, we're building a new dorm uh, over on Hall of Fame, which uh, will be state-of-the-art. Uh, we even have uh, uh, an eco-village that's been talked about, uh, where it's right now it's basically on paper. It's, uh, it's just a conceptual idea, but uh, a, uh, a dorm that would really be sustainable, self-sustainable, uh, in terms of being off-grid and the like. So the whole process of developing something like that will be a, a real education for our students in and of, it, in and of itself. 
but but the other thing I think you're going to see, uh, well, I, I might also mention what we call our lasso project. You're right, enrollment is growing, but you still have retention issues. And those are for a myriad of reasons. Sometimes it's academic, but sometimes it's financial. Sometimes it's just there's no, you're never connected. There's no connectivity uh, between the student and the university. And we have initiatives uh, underway. Lasso is a, is a really a retention, mentoring, tutoring, supporting, advising students uh, on, uh, on the, their, their education and their, their time here at OSU. Uh, we, uh, I, we also see the future back on the digital issue. We also see the future perhaps flipping the classroom in, in the sense that you will uh, basically receive your lecture part online. I mean, you think about it, sometimes you're in a class with 200 students. Well, it, it, you, could, you could, I think, try to make the case that a good uh, a good uh, video uh, lecture is the is the, uh, about as effective, and uh, so then what the students can do is come to uh, class already prepared with the basic material, but then in class they learn what to do with that material. So you've learned a theoretical concept, but you come to class come to class you have discussion groups, you have laboratories, uh, a number of uh, structures where you can try to, uh, to use what you've learned. And I think that's going to improve education dramatically. And I think the faculty will enjoy that as well. I think uh, the, uh, that opportunity for real, real-time interaction with their students, and they're not just talking at them, they're actually interacting with them. Uh, most students are considering the economic payoff of a college education. Uh, how is the university ensuring the OSU degree is a good value for its money? Well, we've actually received, uh, once again, a number of awards in that respect. The Wall Street Journal uh, has recognized OSU for uh, the fact that its students get hired, uh, the, uh, which I think maybe is the, that's the real uh, indicator of how well you're doing because students are here to be prepared to get a job. Uh, but uh, the Princeton Review uh, as well as Kiplinger both uh, rank OSU very high in terms of being a best buy. Uh, but uh, we always want to try to do more uh, less expensively because it's still a factor that, uh, stu that finances uh, can be a real uh, impediment to students receiving their education and we're a land-grant university our job is to is to train everyone who's willing and able to pursue a college degree and we've raised a lot of scholarship money in that regard but uh, the, the more efficient we can become the more economical we can become and still better in terms of the service we're delivering uh, the better you mentioned scholarship money and finances. We've had the branding success campaign going on for a while. How how is that going? How much What's well, going? It's going very well. The the OSU family, alums, and friends, and patrons have stepped up incredibly. Really, uh, we uh, we're just shy of a billion dollars. Uh, but I think we'll. Uh, I'm I'm got my fingers crossed, but I'm very hopeful we'll be making that. Uh, that uh, goal very soon. We of that billion dollars, five hundred million is for scholarships, and we've basically done that. Uh, we also have uh, two hundred million for faculty support, and we've basically pretty close to doing that as well with endowed chairs and the like. Uh, we have uh, another uh, two hundred uh, million for f uh, facilities. And we got a little work to do there, and we still have a hundred million, uh, uh, or we have a hundred million for programs, new programs, and we're very close there. So I think, in the very near future, you're going to hear we've we've made the uh, made the, the goal. Uh, now the thing to remember, though, is that we still have another eighteen months to run on the on the branding success campaign. So even if we make it here shortly, we're not stopping. We want to. 
uh, go beyond the billion, billion as far as we can. Okay. Uh, you know, town and gown relationship, the, how can Oklahoma State University and the city of Stillwater work together to integrate the students into the community? I know we've discussed a, a pedestrian corridor be, between uh, Oklahoma State University and downtown Stillwater. Uh, you know, where, where are we, in, you know, in those uh, instances? Well, uh, as you drive around town, you can see all the, uh, the residential units being constructed, uh, which are being occupied, I dare say, in large part, if not totally, by our students. So our students are a part of the community in terms of being uh, renters, uh, in, in all likelihood. Uh, but there are a lot of other ways that we connect. I, I, one thing I'd want to mention is our uh, new art museum, which is in the old post office downtown. Uh, but, and we see that as, a, of course, an OSU uh, asset, but also a community asset. Uh, we're going uh, to be working with uh, K-12 through students uh, to introduce them to art. All of our colleges will be uh, involved in, in the art program. Uh, so that's another way. Uh, we obviously send buses all around the community, which... Uh, uh, which is a, a big, uh, a big help to the city as well as OSU. Uh, our students work uh, in uh, in the community, and they need to work in the community. And I appreciate the employers that uh, uh, that do that. Uh, the there's just a lot of mutual support in this community, and while I know sometimes town and gown relations can be a little rocky and tense, I have not sensed that uh, since I've been here. I've been here just over five years, and uh, uh, I found the community to be extremely supportive of OSU, and OSU is very supportive of the community. The truth is that we're joined at the hip, and uh, things that help this university help this community and vice versa. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. You bet.